Indeed, as co-chair of the United Nations Advocates Group of Eminent Persons on the 2030 Sustainable Development Goals, I am aware that SDG 3 demands that we ensure healthy lives and the promotion of well-being for all at all ages. The phenomenon of antimicrobial resistance represents a grave threat to the realization of SDG 3, which warrants all our efforts being geared towards overcoming the resistance. The World Health Assembly has urged all member states to develop and put in place national action plans on antimicrobial resistance, which must be aligned with the objectives of the Global Action Plan launched in May 2015. The launch of this policy and national action plan is a clear indication that we are ready to implement their contents. I'm therefore tasking the SDG Secretariat to ensure their smooth and hitch-free implementation. Additionally, the Minister for Health and the Attorney General are to take the necessary steps to move some of the policy issues into legislation to ensure our public health safety. Key among these are policies on the environment and waste, rational use of medicines, crop and animal production, and residues. I'm fortified in my belief that Ghana is well positioned to join in the global effort to fight antimicrobial resistance. It is my hope that the committed implementation of the interventions outlined in these documents will guarantee the efficacy as well as ensure the responsible use of antimicrobials and thereby preserve them for future generations. We are mobilizing domestic resources to deal with this menace, a mobilization which is an integral part of our vision of creating a Ghana beyond aid. I urge all Ghanaians to join in the implementation of the antimicrobial resistance plan. I believe that together we can effect change in the handling and use of antimicrobials. I challenge industry also to come out with new innovations and formulations of antimicrobials, vaccines and diagnostics as we seek to combat the resistance phenomenon. I also charge the Interministerial Committee on the implementation of the SDGs to incorporate the various indicators for antimicrobial resistance into their work stream and ensure that the achievement of SDG 3 by the target date of 2030 is realized. Ladies and gentlemen, I declare the antimicrobial resistance policy and the National Action Plan duly launched.